In this video, we're going to use Venn diagrams to represent different categorical propositions. A Venn diagram is a way of uh, visually representing their logical relations between sets or categories of things. Here we have two overlapping circles. One represents the set of cats and the other one represents the set of mammals. We also have three regions. Region one is the, the part of the circle of cats that doesn't overlap with the circle of mammals. So one represents those cats that are not mammals, right, if there were such things. Uh, two is the, the part where both circles overlap. And so two represents those that are both cats and mammals. So if you're in two, you're both cat or a mammal. And uh, three is uh, the part of the circle of mammals, right, that doesn't overlap with the set of cats. So if you're located in three, that means that you're a mammal who isn't a cat. So with this setup, how do we represent a universal affirmative proposition? In this case, all cats are mammals. The first thing to notice is that when you said that all cats are mammals, what you mean is that you're never going to find a cat that isn't a mammal. So that the set of cats that are not mammals is empty. Now that set of cats that are not mammals is uh, represented by area one, right? So that means that what we have to represent is that area one is empty. We indicate that a given area is empty by shading it. In this case, we shade area one, that is the set of cats that are not mammals. And in general, this is how we represent all sentences or propositions of the form A, namely by shading area one, right? And by that, we're saying that all S are P. That is, there isn't an S that isn't P. So the set of S's that are not P is empty. Now let's deal with propositions of form E, that is, universal negative ones. In this case, no cats are mammals. Universal negative propositions are also represented by shading areas. Now, which area should we shade in order to depict the fact that no cats are mammals? Notice that what we're saying is that the set of things that are both cats and mammals is empty. And uh, which area is that? Well, that is uh, the area in which uh, the set of cats and the set of mammals overlaps. That is area two, right? That is the area in which we find things that are both cats and mammals. And so what we do is that we shade area two. And by that we express that the intersection of both sets is empty, right? And again, in general, and to express a universal negative proposition, what we do is that we shade area two, that is the intersection. Now to particular affirmative propositions, that is propositions of the form I. And here we have some cats are mammals. So what should we do here? Universal propositions such as A and E were represented by shading areas. But here, we're going to proceed differently. When we're saying that some cats are mammals, what we're saying is that some areas are not empty, right? that some areas actually have elements there. And so what we're saying then is that there are some things that are both cats and mammals. right? And uh, that means that the intersection between the two sets, between the sets of cats and mammals, is not empty. Right. We indicate that an area is not empty by placing an asterisk or star inside it. And by placing an asterisk on area 2, we're saying that the set of things that are both cats and mammals is not empty. That is that there are some things that are cats and mammals. Some cats are mammals. So this is our final form of sentences that are both particular 
and negative, and this is called form O. And our example is, some cats are not mammals. So we saw that particular propositions are represented not by shading, but by including asterisk in areas. So what should we do here? Where should we place the asterisk? Which area must have members for this proposition to be true? So yes, you guessed it, is area one. That is the area of those cats that are not mammals. Right? And so what we're saying is that the set of cats that are not mammals is not empty. That is, that there is at least one cat that is not a mammal. And here we have a summary of the Venn diagrams for our four types of prepositions. Prepositions of form A are represented by shading area number one. Prepositions of a form E are represented by shading area two. Prepositions of the form I are represented by placing an asterisk on area two and Prepositions, the form O, are represented by placing an asterisk on area 1.